It's a nice word. It's a very nice word. It's when you say you're gonna do something and you don't do it. I have to get this done. I have to get that done. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I have to go and look for a job today. And you don't do it. I have to go and see the man the man at the shop for the job today and you don't go and see it, you don't go and see them. We become procrastinators and the reason why we become procrastinators is fear. We fear that the person won't take us on. We fear that the person won't give us the job role. We fear things, so we become procrastinators. I will say to you, go and see him. Go and see this guy over here, there might be work there for you. And you go, yeah, I'll go there, but you won't go there because you're pro in procrastination. We want to avoid procrastination. Don't put it off. Don't put it off. Move forward. If you need to do something, then do it. If you want to become, if you want your own salon, you might have to go to college. Train first to get your own salon. If you want to run your own transport business, what do you need to do? There's something you need to do. You know, the funny thing is, most people, most people know what to do but don't do what they know, yeah? Even though they know it, they don't do it. They know what to do, you know what you have to do, but you don't do what you know, okay? So just be aware that you need to take some sort of action. If you are going to apply for jobs, you want a job, you have to, you have to complete application forms. Have to, you have to have a CV. You have to have these things. What are your strategies in finding employment? What strategies do you currently have? And what actions are you going to take? So some of you are saying that you want to work. Some of you are saying that you want your own business. What are your strategies? Let's break it down a bit. What strategies do you have? Do you have any? Strategies, how are you going to do something? What, yeah, what strategies do you have to find employment? What are they? What are your strategies? What do you currently do? How do you currently look for jobs? How, do, how are you currently looking to your outcome? My friend is a construction expert over there, Mr. Muhammad Ali? Yes. Yes. So how are you going to find a job? Go on the Job Centre Plus website and they go about and they just, look, they just look on there. Some people will go on Indeed, am I correct? Yeah? Yeah. Some people will go on Total Jobs. There's various strategies. The whole market has changed to what it used to be like. Years ago, when my dad came into the country, you could walk into one job and walk into another on the same day. My dad was a bus conductor one day, and then he was a forklift driver the next day. So you could move very quickly, but it's all changed now. Some of you are saying uh, agency. Let me tell you something good about agency. Agencies, yeah, have the employers in the pockets. Sometimes you have to go through the agency to get in because the agent is expert and they know the employer. If you approach the employer directly, they won't take you. When you go through the agent, they will give you a part-time contract. As soon as you get better, 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 they will take you on. I'll give you an example, Jaguar Land Rover. Jaguar Land Rover, I've got two friends working there now. Uh, they haven't gone in, you can't get a job direct with them. They want to see how you perform. They pay you very well, very good pay, yeah? Maybe that's an avenue for you, civil engineer. I don't know whether that fits into your, that's automotive. But when you get into Jaguar Land Rover, these guys are going through agency and he's doing okay. So far, he's enjoying it there. Working long hours, they make cars. He loves it there. So but he's had to go through manpower and agency to get in. The agencies are already in. The whole labour market has changed. You might have to go in through agency to prove yourself, yeah? When I went to work, I did, I did a bit of care work. Young people, naughty kids I used to work with, naughty. Uh, I had to go in through agency. They paid me well. I was about 15 pounds an hour. I was happy with that, all right? But what, that's how I got in. And then I went from one place to the other. When you go direct, it was less money, but through the agency, it was a bit more for me. All right, so, and uh, when I applied to this, for this post, it was a national trainer role, but I thought it was flexible, where you can do some days at home and some days over there. 
they wanted everybody at the office. I, I can't, I don't, I can't, I haven't got that availability at the moment because I've got my own training company as well. But it's good to know that the agencies are there. £33,000. You need to find a specialist agency that hits you for your sector, civil engineer. You qualified? Are you qualified in every? Are you qualified in your area? Okay, so there's work there. Some people say, um, I had my colleague, uh, my friend here the other day. Two days ago, he was in the other office with me. He said, there's no jobs out there. That's his biggest problem. There's no jobs out there. That's what he said to me. He said, there's no jobs out there. You know, sometimes when we're looking for jobs and we say, there's no jobs out there. Bad statement, very wrong statement, incorrect statement. I would challenge anybody. No jobs out there. So I let him say, he's older than me. I let him say what he said. And I said, uh, after a few minutes, I'll, he was talking, I said, uh, I have to disagree with what you say. There are jobs out there and we have to find them. You may have experienced that you can't find work, but there's many jobs out there. There's many posts out there. Worst thing you can say, I've had a group of people in Warsaw sitting down in the classroom and four of them say, there's no jobs, there's no jobs, there's no jobs, there's no jobs. And then I have three of them say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to find a job in this area. I'm going to find a job in that area. And guess what? You know what I said to all of them? I said, you are your reality. If you believe there's no jobs out there, you won't find a job, guaranteed. If you believe you will find work, you will find it. You will find it. You'll find a way to find it somehow. You'll look for it and find it. Okay, strategies. Okay, you need to take action. Hidden job market. There's your ideal jobs. Advertise jobs at the top. That's where the jobs are. Look underneath. Hidden job market. Write it down. Hidden job market. That's where the jobs are. Hidden job market. They're hidden. I know people come from India now. They never go to the job center, ever. They've never been to the job center. They know friends who know friends who know friends. And they say, come, we have work for you. Yes? Would you agree with me? Yeah? All right, I know a lot of people like that. They don't go to the job center, but we're not saying to you, oh, you're bad people because your jobs, you're going, no, we're not saying that. What we're saying is there is a, there is a job market and the jobs are here, they're hidden. 80%, write this down, 80% of the jobs are hidden, 80. I believe 80% of the jobs are hidden. And sometimes it's, it's about being in the right place, the right time. When you're in the right place at the right time, you get snapped up straight away. But you have to see the opportunity. See the opportunity. There are jobs out there. 80% hidden job market. Right. Places to search. Okay. We're talking about take action. We're still talking about take action here. Spec letter. Spec letters. You know what a speculative letter is? You're not applying to someone for a job. The advertised jobs. There are hundreds of people in front, you won't find them. The advertised ones are sometimes hard. Sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. They're harder to get, unless you have an outstanding CV. Speculative letters, CVs, are like seeds, yeah? Your CVs are like seeds. And when you throw many seeds, what happens? Some die, some grow. The job center say to you, apply for, what, how many jobs a week? Five? Five, yeah? Five, all right. So five a week, 20 a month, yeah? 20 plus 20, you're the finance skill, working at 20 plus 20 plus 20. He does three every day. This guy does three every day, that's what he's saying. 21 a week, 50, oh, over five days or seven days. Right, what I want to say to you is this. Start throwing seeds, spec letters. Speculative letter is telling the employer what you can do for them, not what they can do for you. I'll say that again. A speculative letter is telling the employer what you can do for them, not what they can do for you. So you should highlight your skills on a speculative letter. If I've got a business running and somebody says to me, have I got a job? I want to say no. If somebody comes to me and goes, because uh, I can do this, 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 this. I can do this for your company and boom. Okay, that sounds interesting. I'll be interested, yeah? So CVs are seeds, spec letters are seeds. So you throw what? 
five, se five seeds a week. Keep your, keep your contacts. You know, like business people. Business people always keep the contact list. Keep it and you fire them out again. So if you have 20 at the end of the month, you throw, you throw 20 and then you, you throw the 20 out again. The reason why I say that is because how long does it take for a situation to change? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we'll come back to that in a minute, yeah? How long does it take for a situation to change? That's the question. I'm going to redirect you back. How long does it take for a situation to change within the workplace? Say that again. Blink of an eye. Heartbeat. Boom. Situation changes. Situation changes the opening there. That's why I say keep your contacts and fire out again at the end of the month. So you... At the end of two months, you should have 80 contacts or 40 contacts, yeah? You fire them out, you can do more. That's a strategy. Your CVs, plain white paper. We have 50 CVs, plain white paper here. Change the design. Yellow CV, I've never seen one like this before. That looks nice. Person looks like they know what they're doing. I will call them in for an interview. Change the colour of your CVs. Speculative letters. Change your colour, make it different. Uh, you can sometimes get different coloured paper or you can print out in different colour, you can get a professional CV done. Have a look at some different CVs online, have a look at them. Yeah, is it plain white? There we go. Try and put some strong colours in, I've seen some really nice ones. My CV was black and white, but I did, yeah. It's different, I did a black and yellow one as well, so change the colours. Make it more different because everybody does white CVs, they're different.